Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just eating some of the freshest Sour Patch Kids fucking ever. Yo, what's going on? Clitch up in 1884 Red Rocks, your favorite Autobot all day long and all day strong, drinking that Natty Ice. Man, it's almost been, what, a dry two months that you've seen a good video game pickup. I don't know how good this is, but hey, let's get right to it. I bought a AV three-way splitter, what, like two years ago, and did kind of a little micro-review on it with a video game pickup. Thought it was, like, awesome for the cheap you know, price of it. Well, it was so cheap that the three, you know, the AV cable broke. Uh, this is something to start off with. I got another one through eBay. It was like 99 cents or something cheaper than that, like 79 cents. It's about the same quality though, so I expected to break. I got something, you know, to fix something that's cheap, whatever, with paying cheap for it. Uh, using my Bing Rewards to get, you know, Amazon gift cards, it was about eight bucks and change. I remember playing this game back in the early 90s, and a guy that lived near me, Nick, he, we traded Super Nintendo games, and he had a game called Jungle Strike, and so I picked up Jungle Strike. And I know this is part of a three series, Jungle Strike, Urban Strike, and Desert Strike. Uh, I didn't really get far in this game, but I enjoyed it, so I thought for $8, you know, it really didn't cost me anything. It was decent for a pickup. I remember going to Just Press Play, and I was been into playing a little bit of Game Boy games recently. I got Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, and I see uh, Just Press Play, as well as I seen they had a Kirby game. I was more interested in trying to pick up Kirby. Um, when I seen this, I had to pick it up, even though it's a nostalgic factor for me, for Game Boy, Super Mario Land. <laughs> It was $9.99. Uh, I think a little on the steep side. Uh, I remember my sister getting a Game Boy. It was like 1990 or 1991. Of course, it came with Tetris. She got Alleyway and Super Mario Land. And I played the shit out of all three of the games. Even my dad loved to play Tetris, of course. Who didn't love to play Tetris? And then eventually, I'd be able to get through this game real easy. The first time I played it, I got to 3-3. And I paused it and was you know out in the grill at the same time. I never got to finish it. My wife turned it off. 
I mean, I can easily go back and beat it. What the hell? But I can easily beat this game in like 30 minutes or so. But it's still an enjoyable game, even though it's easy the whole way through. Another Bing Rewards on Amazon. I was just looking for like a cheap NES game I didn't have. I came across some game I'd never really seen much of. High speed. Obviously, it looks like the pinball game said world's number one pinball. I don't know how true that is. I think it was like five or six bucks. The only thing that's a little upsetting is the upper end of the cart label's a little chewed up for a common game. Supposedly, what I hear, it's common. And on the back, it's etched in. So eventually, I'm going to take another game or something and remove the back and replace this back to make it slightly better quality. But hey, it's another NES game, so what the hell? Today which is what april 27th it's a friday I actually took off of work a full day it's my first full day i had two and a half days off a half day yesterday I decided to go up to my favorite flea market to see brian at brian's computers and games and i always usually definitely have to get something when i see him i shouldn't say usually i always get something he got a couple common stuff i was looking at the nes games and i found trade west it's actually what was done by rare taboo the sixth sense I knew nothing about this game before I uploaded this video and a little snippet of the gameplay, but on the corner it says your lucky personalized wait your your personalized lucky numbers revealed. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> so I have no clue if it tells your fortune or what the hell. It's that's a little weird. It's something, I guess, you know, NES really covered a lot of different genres of games or, you know, anything, really, if you think about it. 
And then I was just talking about Jungle Strike earlier, and for $5, my man had Desert Strike. nice about it. I had a dust sleeve. Actually, I had a lot of my Super Nintendo games that are in complete in box. I don't have a lot of these dust sleeves. I should probably get a few of them. And I usually always like to spend a little bit more money with him. The last time I was in there in October, I got Wild Gunman because I really want to get all the original Black Box 32 games. You know, yeah, what is it? The 32 original Black Box games. 32? But anyway, yeah. Um... But this time, I decided to get something a little different. When I was there, again, back in October, he had Metroid Prime Complete in Box. And I was like, that's a game i got to go back and beat. That's another GameCube game I haven't, you know, beaten that I used to have. And then he had another one. And I was like, damn it. The trend I've been in, where I beat Breath of the Wild, and I've been playing, again, Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, I've picked up for GameCube. Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. I'm really excited about this. It was one of the last three uh, $5 down the whole, you know, what do they call that? I don't know why that word's escaping my mind. But one of the last th three things I've gotten, a reservation, yeah, from GameStop was uh, The Wind Waker. I don't know why I never finished it because I'm a huge Legend of Zelda fan. It is my uh, second favorite video game series, next to Fire Emblem and third being Mega Man. I go over that all the time we're talking about video games. Because almost one comes up almost every video. But I got it complete in the box. This looks very good, so very happy, very happy about that pickup. And then with the buddy who went with me to Green Dragon, it was his first time. He's never been there, lived in Lancaster his whole life. We went to complete box. He was never there, and they recently remodeled. And they had some other stuff like posters and everything like that. And I was looking through some of the posters, like, "Hey, my buddy Mark recently got me that one," which my buddy stopped by a couple weeks ago and gave me this. And I was just talking about black box games. This is you know another poster thing to hang on the wall. I think this is fucking awesome. 
Uh, that's another NES black box game, or an, an, an NES game I haven't beaten. I can admit that. And we were looking around. Uh, I, I didn't take time looking at any comics. So I should have picked up some Generation 1 Transformer comics. Uh, and I was looking at some Wii U games. There's one that was kind of on my mind, but then I didn't end up buying it. And looking at some of the NES games, some of the commons, there was nothing I didn't already have. Looking at the glass case, some things. They had some uh, homebrews with like these custom box for NES that looked really cool. There's a Legend of Zelda one, a Mega Man one. There's a Mega Man and Mario that I'm sure I've played on ROM before. But then I was looking at some of the Atari games, and I came across this. And my buddy AJ went with me, loves anything G.I. Joe. So I got G.I. Joe Cobra Strike for Atari 2600. I can't wait for him to come over and play a little bit of this. And again, because he loves GI Joe. And I don't know when we were we were looking at all the consoles and I was talking how bad I want a Turbo Graphic 16. And I think I'm going to spend like 125 dollars on one. And then here they've got all the listing of the consoles on their wall with used ones. And I seen the Turbo Graphic 16. I was like, oh, and it's like 175. And I'm like. I only had like $240 to spend this week, and then we went to lunch and everything, so that quite didn't fit the budget. But when I was looking at the consoles, I see anything out of the corner of my eye, and I got an original uh, Game Boy to Game Boy Advance connector. Or yeah, yeah, GameCube to Game Boy Advance connector. And what's cool is this actually works with the Wind Waker. So I basically went to two different places and got things I really needed. For this, so that you know that was also awesome. seven dollars, and what sucks is that it's also used on Mega Man X Command Mission, which I just recently finished last month. Which man, it's not an awesome game by means, but I just like Mega Man stuff enough enough I had to beat it again for like the third time. That's also like the third time I've had it. So yeah, so what do you think about this game pickup uh, altogether? It was about oh. And if you include what I spent with the big money, 10, 5, 15, 23, 24, 50. A little about 70 bucks. So, yeah, a little high end, but, you know, for Zelda, for paying 30, it was definitely worth it. So, yeah, throw that comment below. If you played any of these games, slap a like on this video. If you haven't, subscribe. And until next time, like always, drink one on me.